all right man what's up guys i'm here at the shop i'm here by myself and uh as you can see i'm getting kind of frustrated working on this so uh, this right here as you know it's a 30 some year old car almost 30 years old and this was giving me some issues but i finally got it i ended up using some heat So really the main issue with the Lexus, as you can see, I have the new steering rack here. Boom. If we go over to the other side, it's not really gonna be easy to see, but if you look under here, hold on, let me try to get a better angle. So if you look under here, you can see the boot is completely shot. And actually inside here, there's there's a seal that keeps like all the power steering fluid. So what's happening is this seal is going bad and the fluid just comes through and then leaks out. So yeah, that's where we're at with the Lexus. Uh, it's just me today, just working on the shop. Orlando and them, they might come later this afternoon. I'm not sure, but I'm trying to get this wrapped up so I can get it out the shop and then on the real projects like i want to get the subi started this was just a car i got i was originally going to like vip it like lower it do all that but plans changed and i'm here now <laughs> working on getting this uh steering rack in so i got the one tie rod off which was giving me a very 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 hard time um I actually went out and bought like a little torch, but it wasn't really getting hot like I needed it to. So that's gonna be the next investment. We're gonna have to get like a professional grade torch. And actually we're gonna get a welder soon too. So we can start making some parts, you know, we, we're not fabricators by any means, but we we're hobbyists. So like we wanna do it as a hobby, so. But yeah, let me, let me start working on the other side and I'll let you know if I get it off. And if I get it off, you'll see this video because <laughs> that means I got the tie rod off and then I got this whole thing off. So yeah, let's go. All right, so I ended up getting the tie rods out. As you can see, this little knuckle, well, this is the knuckle, but this ball joint was stuck in here, it was seized. As you can see, I got it out on both sides. I ended up uh, messing up the boot on the ball joint so i ended up ordering new ones so pretty much we're stuck until next weekend um so by the time you see this video it'll be a couple couple weeks behind schedule but as you can see i got the tie rod out i'm just gonna finish taking the steering rack off it's already pretty much loose there's a bolt there duplicate one on the other side uh i gotta i gotta disconnect the two lines the one going to and from the rack and then the little bolt that connects to the steering shaft so yeah once i get that sorted out yeah once i get that sorted out i'll be good to go and then the new tie rod ends will come in next week so yeah as you can see i got the old steering rack out and this is what i was talking about earlier where the boot is like ripped and then inside here there's seals which is where the fluid was leaking out. Um, so yeah, this pretty much comes with everything I need. I ended up ordering new tie rod ends because as you can see the little, the boot right there is messed up. So I have to wait a couple days. So by the time you guys see this video, uh, this car will be probably mostly done because I'm gonna upload this a little bit later coming together man it's coming together get this thing out the shop so we can start working on the real stuff this i'm probably not going to do much to this but definitely the subi is going to get a lot done and uh i do have another car to cut list that's gonna i'm gonna bring that here too and another side note when working on this uh you definitely want to have uh jack stands of course as always you always want to be safe but um getting that steering rack out you can see the transmission right here it didn't really leave enough room to get it out. So you have to jack the transmission up a little bit to get it out. So once you do that, should have no issues. Um, disconnect the steering. Make sure the steering stays as straight as possible. I would recommend like wrapping the seatbelt around it, 
putting it in the seat belt, but uh, you could do that or you could just try to keep it as straight as possible. Nobody really comes here and moves it, so we shouldn't have any issues with it moving. So. All right, so we got everything finished. Uh, the Lexus is finally done. As I told y'all in those last clips I showed y'all, um, I, I ordered new tie rod ends. I don't know where I put the old ones, but new tie rod ends, new steering rack. Hopefully we don't have any leaks. I was getting a leak from the high pressure of power steering line, but I think I just fixed it. So we're gonna put it all together and take it on a test ride and hope for the best. That's all we can do, right? <laughs> Oh man. All right, so the Lexus is done. Um, we got it out of the shop finally, finally. I've been waiting to get this thing out so we can start working on like all the other stuff. Um, this car, I probably will sell it. It will be for sale. So if you're interested, you got my Instagram. We're on the Eastern shore. So if you're in New York, DC, you can get to us pretty easy. Um, yeah, so I just gotta get a battery for it and then she should be good to go. I didn't really get a chance to test drive it, but uh, yeah, it's done. Moving on to the next stuff. We'll catch you in the next one.